Hey guys, welcome back to Data with Dominic. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at uh, Microsoft Fabric. This is the first video in a in our series uh, on Microsoft Fabric tutorials. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at how to create a lake house, which is the fundamental building blocks of your experience with Microsoft Fabric. So we're going to be looking at how to create one. It's a very basic and simple thing to do, but important to get started. And before that, um, if you've not heard already, Microsoft Fabric, which uh, came into public preview just recently, depending on when you're watching this video, is uh, Microsoft's uh, unified SaaS platform for data analytics. And uh, it's built on top of one lake, which is basically a, a SaaS data lake based on the Delta Parquet format. And uh, we'll dive into the details as we go throughout this tutorial, but in today's video, we're going to be looking at how to create a lake house. So just diving into Microsoft's own documentation for what is a lake house in Fabric. It is basically a data architectural platform for storing, managing, and analyzing structured and unstructured data in a single location, right? So we had, first we had warehouses, which we were using for analytical, analytical purposes, where we had tables uh, in schemas, and we had dimension and fact tables, and we could uh, perform reporting on top of them. And then as the volume of data grew and we started getting use cases like IoT or telemetry data, we started moving into the data lake uh, side of things. But that was hard to do reporting on top of an, an analysis because it was not structured. So that's where this uh, data lake house came into being, where you could have structured and unstructured data and semi-structured data actually inside one location uh, so that you could uh, accomplish both your streaming data and high volume data as well as uh, build relational models with schemas and do your analysis uh, and reporting workloads as well. So that's what a lake house is. And now let's dive into the fabric UI and see how to create a lake house. All right. So for some of you, when you open fabric for the first time, it might look like this. You might just think it's Power BI. But um, when you come to this um, Power BI logo at the bottom left hand corner of the screen, you should see all these streams available to you. Similarly for others, when you open Fabric for the first time, you might see this. And again, to get back to what we were seeing earlier, you just need to hit the bottom left corner button, which is basically like a page switcher, and come to Data Engineering. And inside Data Engineering is where the lake house resides. So to create the lake house, just hit this lake house button, give the lake house a name, like lake house one, and hit create. And that's all it is. So you can see we've got our lake house opened, lake house one, and we've got two sections with um, tables and files. So now you have a lake house which is ready to you, for you to upload or ingest data into in either a tabular or file format. All right, so we'll look into how, how we can start importing data later in the next few videos from different formats. But for now, uh, this is how you create a lake house in Microsoft Fabric. For, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit the bell icon. And I'll see you guys in the next one.